Kailangan talaga maging ready. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining our stream for today. But first, let us introduce ourselves. I am Jensel Imperia and... I am John Lim, and we will be your host for today. Alright. So, bago tayo magsimula, gusto namin malaman if may mga viewers ba tayo before or like returnee sa ating stream for today. How about yung mga bago lang? Hmm. Now, let let's us move see. on to our documentary. 
Today we will talk about watching television, the reason why we do it, and its perceived effects. Enjoy! Television. Television. Television? I watch television to reward myself. I like watching television. It's our bonding. I watch TV to stay updated. Despite the growing popularity of the Internet in the Philippines, television remains the primary media medium through which Filipinos consume content. Children are now spending less time watching television and dedicating more hours to using gadgets for activities mainly involving social media and online games. Regardless, the effects of television on children are still being raised nowadays, concerning parents and researchers, despite being tackled in many other studies. Have you ever wondered how the things that we normally do can affect us? Take watching television as an example. This form of entertainment remains the top choice for Filipino content consumers despite the growing popularity of the internet in the Philippines. Individuals spend an average of 4-5 to five hours per day watching television, placing the Philippines among the highest television consumers in Asia. So, what exactly is a television? A television is an electronic device that transmits pictures and sounds via an electrical signal over a distance. You can receive entertainment, information, and commercials as it broadcasts programs you can watch and listen to. Watching TV is known and enjoyed worldwide because it is one of the simplest and most popular types of entertainment. Well, there are many reasons why people watch television. It depends on the individual as it can vary from per person to person. But most of the time, these reasons are the same. Even for a lot of people, I think the one that explains it the best is the research by London Business School professor Patrick Barwise and senior researcher Stephen Bellman and Virginia Beale at the University of South Australia. According to the research, Watching TV can meet our psychological needs, whether it be to relax or escape, it can also be a more accessible and cheaper alternative compared to other activities to fill your time. watch TV because general answer, of course, it would be for entertainment. It provides comfort in a way for someone to be entertained in whatever way uh, because it does span a lot of different um, interests and everything. Um, and also, this is a way for someone to kind of connect with other people who have similar interests. That is something that's being played on television as well. Um, but overall, I'd say it depends on the people. but. Um, it could be a form of escapism for some where they would find it um, really relieving and really um, it would take their mind off of a lot of thoughts, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things that they may not want to think about. Um, but yeah, th that's another thing that might be a reason why some people would be choosing to watch TV. But generally, it would be entertainment, of course. Um, but yeah. I'd say watching television does affect people psychologically, but the nature of those effects really depend on the person. So as I mentioned earlier, it does provide entertainment and could give people relief from daily stress. Um, it could also give people something to talk about with the people around them, so there's that. It can be like that 
if they aren't prioritizing this over a lot of other important aspects of their life to the point that it shows a lack of control. So the negative effects would be that since it can be a form of escapism, some may go toward that to avoid a lot of their responsibilities or stressors. Um, some may even show some signs of addiction toward it as one would toward the internet as well at times. But it really depends on the person and how aware they are or in control they are of their situation. But of course, addiction and all of that kind of stuff is a very extreme case. But another negative effect could be a shortened attention span to things since, of course, nowadays media and everything is very quick and made to be short and quick for people to take in. So, for example, TikTok and Instagram Reels and even just ads, they're very short and very quick to just take in information. But, yeah, apart from that, I would say that um, another negative effect would be a lack of connection with other people so for example if watching television takes up a lot of their time then of course they would probably not be able to kind of connect to other people uh, if that it, if it does um, restrict them from doing much more apart from watching tv that these effects do have more impact on students or younger people but that really just depends because um, on one side most likely yes because habits are developed as you grow up and younger people are very impressionable so um, being kind of a sponge to everything around them if they are used to um, watching TV and really getting um, a lot of the negative effects from it then I would say that yes it does have a lot more impact because um, I'd say it does get harder to kind of break out of a habit that you've developed as a kid but apart from that I'd say that it really just depends on the person because um, nowadays even adults can have these effects um, but it really just depends on whether or not they have that self-control they have that awareness they're able to break out of that, um, how much their support system is, how how much feedback they can get from them. But yeah, I would say that for students and younger people, especially students, because they do have a lot of responsibilities and there may be some instances where they would kind of have a lack of judgment on the situation and prioritize something like entertainment over um, their studies or prioritize them over their connection with their friends and yeah but at the same time um, the positive effects uh, these can also be very impactful for young people or students it does give them way for um, a lot of different social interactions where television does bring open the opportunities for um, it could also be that they have some form of stress relief so that for people who are very easily kind of stressed out, very easily overwhelmed by a lot of their stressors or their responsibilities, then TV could be something that takes care of that for them. Um, but I would say as for the positive effects, I think that's very universal. Not so sure if that has an impact or if that has more impact on students and younger people, but I, but I would say that negative effects definitely have i'd say more likely they would have a, a bigger impact on students or younger people rather than adults but that's something that you're gonna have to test out so yeah hello everyone my name is dr shifra ayevare a recent medical graduate from mount kemi university and i am the head of human rights and research at iruka foundation a non-profit organization in Africa um, based in over six countries that advocates for quality education and gender equality. Well, certainly, as someone in the medical field, 
I do believe definitely that um, there are both positive and negative impacts to our physical well-being of watching television. There are awesome programs that you find on television that give you information, right? Educational programs that give you information on health, on nutrition and your physical wellness or fitness, right? That encourage and motivate people to learn more, to choose to live healthier lifestyles, right? And implement the behaviors that they, they want to see, right? In order to get good, healthy results for their physical body. That's one way. Secondly, we I guess we've all seen shows that promote physical fitness where you can actually have a home workout, right? That's also another positive impact. And then there is an extreme also, there is a negative where people find themselves um, living or adopting sedentary lifestyles where you're going to spend hours lying on your couch, seated, watching shows, show after show, right? I mean, you watch like a whole season in a day, right? And uh, while you're doing that, you're indulging in unhealthy snacks, uh, things that we know have too much sugar or too much salt, right? That impedes also or worsens your physical health, right? So those are the ways it can affect your physical health. And it's important to find a balance and be moderate. Watch some TV and then go exercise. Yes. Yes, uh, definitely. I think uh, television impacts um, students and young people um, so much because, um, first of all, it affects their cognitive development. Students who particularly love certain TV shows and spend excessive amounts of time watching it, spend less uh, time reading or doing their homework or participating in extracurricular activities that promote cognitive development, academic thinking, and make a build a person to be intellectual and think and smart, be smart and um, learn problem solving skills, for example. So when they spend uh, so much of their time consuming content instead, then it affects that part of their brain that is supposed to learn and develop and grow. Uh, secondly, uh, their sleep patterns and cycles could be disrupted because you come home, you have a whole lot of homework, you have work to study from school, you know, and you, when you spend the time that you should use to study watching, it increases the workload and then it uses up all your time so your quality and quantity of sleep are reduced what ends up happening you wake up in the morning fatigued and then when you go to class you're not able to pay attention and then that leads to poor academic performance yes uh easily the third thing i could think about would be um their body image or advertisements uh children are you know, when they take up this information, they use it to probably influence themselves and see how they are, especially teenagers. And then uh, from advertisements based on whatever shows they are watching, it might affect their body image as well and affect how they show up in the world, bringing up um, issues such as um, self-loathing uh, or a low self-esteem and then they do not show up in the capacity that they should show up yes and then increasing other things such as bullying so these are all effects of excessive watching of television yes
Okay. Wow, very well said by our guest speakers, Ms. Eliza Ilaga and Dr. Shipra Ayabar. I don't agree. Sorry. <laughs> Wow, first of all, look at the quality. Talagang nag-improve at gumanda yung video. And one thing that I noticed is nagkaroon din siya ng subtitles. So much easier na siya for the viewers to watch. Parang Netflix ang bag. And then, yung sa sinabi naman ng mga interviewees natin, I love the way how, the, uh, how well they really answered the questions. And not only that, talagang yung mga makakapanood sa kanila is matututo. Like yung sinabi ni Miss Eliza, she said na on the good side of television is that it can be a form of escape. So parang yung TV ang magiging way para mawala ang stress ng mga tao. And mawala sa isip nila yung mga thoughts na ayaw muna nilang isipin. On the other hand, it may be a form of escapism like Miss Eliza said, pero it can grow to addiction. But still, it really depends on the person. And I also like the answer of Dr. Shipra Yabare that there is an upside and downside to watching television. Uh, it may be a good source of learning or information for education, but can also be a way for um, pa passive learning where it might reduce your interactions with other people and forget about your task. And, and that's not good at all. So I agree that there should be a balance for that. And yeah, I really like that. Not only did they take on explaining the good side, but they also explained the possible bad side of watching TV. And yeah, shout out to okay, Mark. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. So I agree naman sa sinabi nila. TV can have both positives and negative effects on the student, but ultimately, it's the way that the student uses TV that decides whether it has a positive or negative impact on them. Like, kung, kung ano na lang pinapanood nila, in, parang infinite scroll, parang scroll lang sila, scroll sa TikTok, wala sila makukuha. Pero kung nanonood sila mga documentary katulad neto, ayun, marami sila matututunan. Now, yes, let's take a look right. on how television affects a student's academic performance. Enjoy. All right, so um, yes, as an advocate for um, children's education, um, I definitely think that um, television can provide educational programs. I have in my country watched uh, television and been faced with uh, moments where I was able to actually learn from like uh, teachers online that teach educational programs that help supplement the education that I get from school, right? And then also there are things like documentaries and other external resources that television is able to provide. So for me, those are the positive areas of education that students can benefit from on TV. Students watching television, I think it's good for them because like some people, there are channels that provide you with very educational information and some things that like can provide you good entertainment and as a leisure and is it good or bad thing? I mean as long as you can keep your time um, managed wisely and you can track how much or like how yeah how much you, you spend on watching television I think you'll be all good just time management but then there is the downside of that when you are watching television you're not engaged actively it's a passive form of learning so what does that do that reduces your interaction it uh, with like a teacher and a physical teacher that you can discuss with, have a back and forth discussion, debate about it, try to ask questions to understand. Now there is a part of that that suppresses a child's problem 
problem-solving skills, a child's critical thinking skills, because it's a passive form of information taking, right? So there should be a balance where you study at school, take your time to do your homework, take your time to do your assignments and actively discuss in school with peers and with teachers, and then also back at home, be able to consume the information you get from TVs. So um, another thing I would think about on the negative would also be time management and distraction, where you'll find a child is, of course, again, distracted by television and they are not able to do the work assigned to them um, hence falling back on schoolwork and that would not be beneficial right so you end up uh, leaving your responsibilities procrastinating and all these habits uh, later on bringing up um, poor or not up to your expectation of an academic performance right Yes, so in that way, I think it would be disadvantageous. Also, a low attention span. Um, I believe uh, we've seen so many people that have low attention spans. That's because most likely in other circumstances, they are so used to fast paced, interesting, fun, um, modes of consumption of information right which is also inspired by television because i mean you put on a show and it's quick and it's fast paced and you're getting the results immediately and then when a teacher is describing a complex idea in class you're not able to pay attention because what are you used to you're used to the visuals the quick effects the fast paced world, which is not actually the world we live in. The world we live in involves taking in those ideas, thinking about them, thinking critically, and also understanding, and then finding a result or reaching a conclusion, right? So all these affect in turn how a child performs, how a student performs, how a student shows up. And uh, this as an advocate for education, I would encourage teachers and parents alike to, to focus and uh, pay attention to their children's TV habits in order to help them be more effective. So like moderating the time, the time spent watching television, and then hand picking out programs that would be beneficial for the children Yes, entertainment is good, but balancing out entertainment and educational information and um, of course making sure the content is age appropriate and yes, I think all these come together to produce a balanced, a well-balanced child who can show up in a world and uh, be successful in whatever they choose to do. Um, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for having me feature on this documentary. Research and studies have explored the various impacts of television viewing on students, revealing both positive and negative effects. Some of the disadvantages include wasting time, potential health influences, and social isolation. However, it is also said to note the advantages of it, such as exposure to new information, awareness of global events, and the entertainment provided serving as a form of stress reliever. A previous study highlights the positive impacts of television on children's development, including skills in areas such as school readiness, problem-solving skills, attention, and more. But, on the other hand, it's revealed that peers who watch less television significantly outperform those who were heavy viewers in terms of reading comprehension. Anna Mosser and Schneider's paper, titled Relations of Television Viewing and Reading, Findings from a Four-Year-Old Longitudinal Study, presented two categories of hypotheses. The facilitation hypothesis proposed benefits like book reading promotion and on-screen reading improvement due to television programs, while the other hypothesis 
which is what we call the inhibition hypothesis, suggested negative effects on school development. There was actually a study by Irene Pajarilio Aquino that was published in 2019 where she emphasized that guided television viewing could be beneficial for students, impacting general learning and academic achievement. However, she also stated that excessive screen time, especially during school days, may lead to adverse effects including poor academic performance. Her study delved into viewing patterns, study habits, and the relationship between television viewing and academic performance. The results from her study showed that students had specific screen times, with the majority prioritizing studying over watching TV. The academic performance indicated that a significant percentage of students achieved satisfactory ratings, affirming the importance of balancing screen time with academic commitments. Ayan, it is indeed very informative. I like the answer of Dr. Shipra Ayabaret that it might be good for students to be exposed Ayan, to informational shows, but it might grow to having a low attention span. So, ibig sabihin nun is baka hindi maintindihan ng mga students yung mga lessons sa kanilang school or mga bagay na dapat nilang pinibigyan pansin. And I agree that parents and teachers should pay attention to their children's TV consumption. Indeed, while excessive exposure to television can have a negative impact on students, watching in moderation and watching educational shows can have a good impact on students' academic performance. Okay, let us now move on to the fun part of this stream, a little game break. Sabihin nyo lang kung hindi fun. Ay. <laughs> Where? Woo! Inet! Okay. So, ayon, moving on. How do we play the game? Let's read. Try to figure out the jumbled letters based on the clue letters that are related to our stream and form the right word. So basically, aayusin nyo lang yung mga letters na ipapakita namin and to remind you, pauna to. Okay? And then, after playing the game, the player who gets the highest points will get a prize. Prizes are 150 for the first placer, 100 for the second placer, 50 pesos for the third placer, and winners must also be subscribed, followed, and liked on our FB page. Moving on to our prize mechanics. Winners must message us through Facebook and we'll send the screenshots of them, subscribe, follow, and like to our accounts. Without this screenshot, winners would not be able to claim their prizes. All prizes will be sent through Gcash and expected after our stream. Are you ready? Wait. So, ano pala? So, make sure that before we start this game, naka-subscribe na kayo sa YouTube namin, naka-follow sa FB page, just search Metafilm with a capital M and capital F, logo is color black, and then make sure to like as well the FB page para hindi kayo ma-disqualify sa ating game for today. Are you ready? Ready na pa kayo, guys? Pakita sa pa. Pero, ayun, ready na ba kayo? Type ready sa ating live chats. Nababasa naman namin siya. So, ayan. Are you ready? Okay. 
Okay. Um, um, don't worry pala. Uh, our other group mates are also here, so they will take note of your points. Where are you in? Let's move on. So, para sa unang mode, of course, we have the easy mode. And we will only get one point for this. Okay, next slide, please. Okay. For our first word, sino kaya ang makakahula? I think makakuha niya siya agad. Just type your answers on our live chats and we will see. Hmm. Yes! Yes, that's right. You got it, Mar. The answer is quality. Um, please take note of the scores. Okay? Okay, so our next. So, um... So, itong word na to, um, naka-plural naka siya. But I think, um, masasagutan nyo din siya. Uh -uh. You know the answer? Do you need a clue? Yes, that's right. Posters by Tricks. Okay, posters. Now, for our next word. Okay. For our third word, this is also very easy. Bago siya sa documentary namin, so I'm very sure you will get this and notice this as well. Yes, that's right again, Trix. You got it right. The answer is subtitle. Correct. So now for the next part of our game, it is a medium mode and it's going to be a little more difficult. So for the first word, for the, the fourth word, this is what we do when we are in front of the TV. <laughs> Too big. Oh, nga, medyo ma init. Kulang pa. Pakitaasan yung ano. Yung init factor. Yes, that's right, Mar. You got it. So, for the fifth word, this is actually easy. And it is what we are doing right now. Mm -hmm. This is what we're doing right now. We're sure you'll get this as well. what it is <laughs> yeah just in sun sigi go correct tricks it's streaming mm -mm. streaming Next 
for the next mode, prepare yourself as this might decide whether you win the game or not. As hard mode gives you three points for each answer. Yes. For the sixth word, this is what leaders of a team do to their members. Mm -hmm. Wonder what it is. Mm -hmm. Kaya ba? Kaya ba today? Sagutan ang ating hard mode. Is it management? Is it management? Yes, it is management. You got it correct, Nia. Okay. For our seventh word, it might be a bit hard, but I guess makakuha nyo din siya. So. Um, this is the synonym, I see synonym for we did better synonym. Okay, init po, uh oh. Nagliliyab ang world. Ay! Robotic daw yung voice mo. Pero naiintindihan naman. Correct! It is indeed improvement. Sino yun? Si Trix again. Ay nako, si Trix nakakailan na po. Mm -mm. Pagbigyan mo naman yung iba. Mm -mm. Grabe na yan. <laughs> okay. For our last but not the least word, we have something. Again, syempre. Last na to, huh? Uh-uh. Ano kaya yan? Hindi ko din alam eh. Ay. Hala! Last na. Last na ang ating word of the day. Correct. Presentation. Sino yun? Big, ah? Uh? Big verb? Big verb. Oh, okay. That is it. Thank you for playing our game. If that is the end of it. Uh -huh. Nag-enjoy ba kayo sa pag-game natin? Baka hindi. Uh -huh. Nagtatampo na ako niyan, guys. Uh -huh. Sayang yung pera namin dito, hindi kayo nag-enjoy. Ay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, my fault. Sorry, my fault. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Um, can you send the uh, winners for our game for today sa ating chat box? Ayan, thank you. Thank you. Uh, asa na yung winner? Sige. Um, may nag-tie daw sa ating game for today. Paano yan? Uh -huh. Sino kaya? Wait. Sige. We will, uh, no, we will tell you later before we end the stream who won the game. So let's move on to 
our video, I guess. <laughs> drum roll. Pwede naman. May parekas ng drum roll. Mm -mm. Secret. No. Sisend namin later before we end the stream. So, sa mga nanalo dyan. Mm -mm. Hmm. Sino kaya? Sino kaya yung mga yun? Hintayin nyo ang mga nanalo later. So, huwag muna kayong mag-leave sa ating stream. So for now, let's just see. Let's just see what the effects, what the students have to say about the effects of television in their academic performance. Do you watch TV and for how long do you find yourself watching television daily? I, these days, I don't watch TV anymore, but when I used to, I spend around like two hours daily. I watch TV because I needed some form of entertainment. I didn't really have a phone back then, so that's where... I got into watching TV with my family. What are some of your favorite shows and what was the longest time uh, that you spent watching them? I can't really remember like the names of the shows, but mostly cartoons since when I used to watch TV, I was a kid. Um, like uh, Augie and the Cockroaches, Mr. Bean, Pink Panther and all those stuff and the longest time that I spent watching them was all day to be honest yeah I spent watching TV all day do you think watching TV personally affects your studies for me I think that it doesn't really affect my studies more so because I just use it for a break when I'm watching TV and when I used to watch TV. It's really just after I'm done doing all my studies and yeah. The audience analysis that we conducted on the students of Online Passion 102 during quarter 1 of school year 2023 to 2024 showed that the majority of students believe that the impacts of TV on academic progress depends on the individual's habits and abilities of the student. Our survey also believes that the effects of watching television depend on the content watched. Most participants think that the effects of watching television on a student's academic progress are both good and bad, ultimately being neutral. However, responses demonstrate that the, the TV may be utilized to teach by providing examples and explanations, and to also give them the chance to unwind as it is used for entertainment. The majority of them stated that the way students manage their time will shape how viewing television affects them. But there is also a response that claims that since no one watches TV anymore, it might not have any effects. To summarize everything more simply, there are a lot of things that may contribute to the effects of watching television and how it can differ for every person. Television can have positive effects on students if guided correctly, although excessive viewing can have negative effects on their learning capability. Overall, these effects may be negative, positive, or even ultimately neutral, depending on the viewing patterns and study habits of a student.
Okay, that so is that is it, that for is our it. documentary. Special thanks to our guest speakers, Miss Alisa Ilaga and Dr. Shepra Ayabar, for taking their time to participate in our presentation. And these are certificates for them. Mm -hmm. Ayan, ito na pala ang ating mga winners for today. So, first place, we have... We have tricks, okay. For second place, we have... Drum roll. <laughs> we have Nina for second place. And third place, we have... More. Congratulations to all of our winners and thank you to those who participated. Okay, so before we end, we would like to give out the, the feedback form in order for you to get a certificate and make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube, followed and liked our, our, um, our FB page and answered the necessary information needed. And don't worry, this is this uh, feedback form is optional, but we will only take feedbacks until 4 4.59 p.m. today. Thank you very much for joining us in Metalfilm with this. Um, the, the winners must message us through FB. Thank you.